Hello everyone and welcome back to my Q&A video series on the pandas library in Python. And the question for today is how do I select a pandas series from a data frame? So there are two basic object types in pandas that hold data and one is called the data frame and it's basically just a table of rows and columns. And then each of those columns is known as a pandas series, okay? So you can have a pandas series that's not part of a data frame. But in my work, I find that mostly I'm working with series that are part of a data frame. So the question is, how do I select a series from it? Uh, perhaps I want to do an analysis on a particular series, or perhaps I want to manipulate that series. That's why you might want to do it. So let's go ahead and create an example data frame and then uh, answer this question. So uh, first, we're going to, uh, as always, import pandas as pd. And then um, the data set we're going to use today is a data set of UFO uh, reports, um, reports of UFO sightings from 1930 through 2000. Okay? So. Uh, I'm going to say UFO equals PD dot, and there's two options here. Uh, we're going to start with read table. Okay, We're going to pass it the URL where the data file is stored. And as always, I'm using a uh, bit.ly URL uh, so that you can follow along. So bit.ly slash UFO reports. Okay, And then I'll say sep equals comma. Now, the file at that location is a CSV file, a comma separated value file. Read table assumes tab separated files by default. So we're going to say this up is comma. Now, I could do that, and that would work, and I'll run it, and it will work. Um, but uh, the shortcut is actually to use read CSV. And the literally, the only difference between read table and read CSV is that read CSV uses the comma as the default separator. So let's run that. Okay, so uh, we want to confirm this is a data frame. So we'll just say type UFO. And it is indeed a data frame. Type is just a, a built-in Python method for looking at the type of object. Um, and if we do dot head, we can see the first five rows, okay? So it's the city, the state, the color and shape reported, and the time of uh, the UFO sighting. Okay, so to actually answer our question, which is how do we select a series, uh, let's go ahead and do that. And the basic way to do this, and we'll see more, is to use what's known as bracket notation. So this is kind of like selecting, uh, well, I'll just show you first, UFO bracket, city, and that will select out the city series, okay? And so this is just city. Um, this is the first 30 rows and the last 30 rows of that series, okay? So um, that's, the, that's the basic method, and let's just confirm this is a series. We'll just say type, and we see it is indeed a series, okay? So a couple notes about this, seems pretty simple, but a couple notes that might be uh, useful to remember. So um, this bracket notation, this is case sensitive. So if I just put uh, on a lowercase city, that'll generate an error. It'll generate a key error, okay? Um, there is a shortcut to this that is very common and useful to remember, okay? So, um, you can actually instead use what's known as dot notation, and it looks like this, UFO dot city. And that does work. Now, pandas is using a little trick here in which um, every time a series uh, is added to a data frame, okay, it its name automatically becomes an attribute of that data frame, okay? So if I say UFO dot and I hit tab, you can see right there is city. 
along with all of these other methods and attributes, I just hit the tab character after hitting dot, it literally makes the, um, uh, the column name, the series name, one of the attributes, which is very handy. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, just because it's less typing to say ufo.city than this much longer, you know, brackets, um, quotation marks, city. So ufo.city is quite, uh, quite handy. Okay, so a question that might have come up in your mind is how would I select the series colors reported? Well, would I do this? Uh, that doesn't seem quite right because there's a space and how's, what's Python gonna think? That will error. You could say, well, maybe I just delete the space and no, that doesn't work either. Um, you can try lots of different variations, but if the column name is colors space reported, dot notation simply does not work, okay? If you wanna select out colors reported, you have to use bracket notation, okay? All right, so I know that might look strange. These are not a number. We'll talk about that in a future video. But um, uh, you have to use bracket notation to select a series if the uh, series has a um, space in it. Uh, this is also the case if you name a column something that conflicts with a built-in method or attribute, okay? So this is a tricky one. Uh, let's pretend you had a column named shape, okay? Lowercase s-h-a-p-e. Um, if you tried to use dot notation to select that column, it would fail because shape is already a built-in attribute of a data frame. So um, that would conflict, that would not work. You would just get back, you know, um, you would get back the shape of the data frame. You would not get back the pandas series named shape if there was one. The same thing would hold if you named a column head and then tried to access it using dot notation. You would also not get what you expected, okay? So the bottom line here is that dot notation only works under certain circumstances, whereas bracket notation will always work. So if you like bracket notation, just use it. Uh, just know that there are people out there like me who like to use dot notation because it's faster to type. So you wanna recognize it, um, but it will not, uh, dot notation will not always work for selecting a pandas series. So uh, I'll always end with a bonus tip, and the bonus tip for today is how do I create a new pandas series in a data frame? So quick diversion on that. Um, so in uh, regular Python, if you have two strings like AB, sorry, AB, which is a string, and uh, CD, which is a string, and you use the plus sign that combines them, that concatenates them, okay? You can do the same thing with pandas series that are strings, okay? You could do the same thing with uh, pandas series that are numbers and it would do the math, but we've all of our series here are strings. Um, so if we said ufo.city plus ufo.state, I think what's gonna happen? It will actually just put the city next to the state. So you can see Ithaca, New York, Willingboro, New Jersey, Holyoke, Colorado. Okay, now that looks kind of funny. Um, maybe we'd wanna actually um, put in a, like a comma space, if you're familiar with that American way, maybe worldwide way of listing out cities and states or city and country. Um, and now we get um, the city comma space state, okay? Now, uh, perhaps we're doing this because we want to create a new column that includes both of those. You might think, well, maybe I just assign it. So UFO dot, and we'll call it location equals, okay? This is what you might think. 
this is not the right way. This is not going to do what you think, okay? You have to use bracket notation when creating a new series in a data frame. So that will work, and you will see eofo.head. You will see now we've got this location column that is the city and the state, okay? So if you're gonna create a new column in a data frame, uh, you should you have to use bracket notation when naming that column. You can use either notation on the right side of the equal sign, but when assigning it, you have to use bracket notation. I could not have said UFO dot location here. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks so much for joining me for this video. Uh, feel free to click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. As always. Uh, Put a comment below if you have a question about the video or a question about pandas in general. Maybe I'll make a video about it or I will at least answer your question in the comments. Okay, thanks again and I will see you soon.